We have done something historic here uh, in Fulton County. Excuse me. The Reparations for Slavery Task Force. Uh, you on that task force? I, I'm, I'm co-chair, and the chair is Dr. Al, uh, uh, Alvarado. Uh, so what, 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 what puzzles me is how, I mean, because we have examples of different municipalities and even uh, uh, California gave back a 300-acre re beach resort property. That they have, stole, yeah. We have tangible victories on on a county and city level for reparations. Now, the goal or the target is federal. But while we're in these positions of power, everybody has to pay what they owe. So here's what bothers me. All the way up to this symbolic administration that we have with the first black female vice president that I applaud. But what has Chucks and Pearls done since she's got there? She ain't even spoke up for the students in her own alma mater who were camping outside over infrastructure issues of Howard University. What has what has Uncle Joe done other than signed executive orders for other nationalities? Here we are celebrating these symbolic victories on roads to nowhere. So what kills me is black folks for whatever our reason is collectively, that we aren't supporting reparations for slavery, let me use this John Lewis bill. But it puzzles me, D.C., how many of our people will jump on board for a voting rights fight that we've been fighting for decades. Right. We've been being shifted for decades. Right. Well, what do you think happened before they shifted our rights to vote? Right. Reparations is the ground root. I'm not acting like voting rights are not necessary. Right. I don't understand in the time and era where we see a modern day reconstruction happen. Why is the reparations for slavery demand falling at the doorstep on deaf ears to this administration? We're making the same damn mistake that we made during the Obama administration, just being romanticized with imagery. And no damn substance is sickening. So in 2022, uh, I say I'm getting with some of my partners who are sick and fed up as I am. Right. And we ain't going to worry about some of these other cats, man. And we're going to keep it moving. We got to get something for our vote. And reparations is old to us. You know, one of the ugly I'm things. Old. Just please say that again. For the it's old to us. Some folks think you're at, we're asking for something. We're not begging for nothing. This is for an unpaid debt for services rendered that must be paid on behalf of the work and the suffrage of our ancestors. It's a no effing brainer. Right. It, it, you know, because something, you know, hey man, you know, brainer, you know, everybody else got reparations. What do you want people in the South Metro and Fulton County, because you sit on the board for, um, for the reparations committee. Uh, what do you want the people throughout Metro Atlanta to understand? And what should be the mission going forward uh, this year? Man, the, the, the urgency of now, um, public condolences go out to my wife for the loss of her grandfather, Cleveland Tucker. Oh, man. Uh, a centenarian plus 102 years old. He transitioned the uh, day before yesterday. Okay. Um, I we are, th Thanks, sir. We are, I used to sit with this, this brother and just, just he was, uh, the oldest World War II veteran in Georgia. Um, I used to sit and talk to him about the treatment of our people in the military during that era. Era, we're in a a changing of the guard. You know, uh, you know, living legends are becoming history. Right. And those of us in positions of leadership and power, you know, the urgency of now, we don't have time to wait. We don't have time. You know, uh, my son just turned twenty eight. Uh, my oldest son and my youngest son just turned sixteen. Yeah. Um, we don't have time. Right. Um. All of the ancestors, uh, the generations that have come before us, you know, that 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 have us in this position where we can have these kind of conversations. I was in the barbershop, our, our barbershop, not too long ago. Okay. And I was talking about a, a post that I did where I disagreed with a Caucasian male uh, head coach uh, of an all-black football team uh, known as Westlake in a predominantly black school. Well, 
you know, as I'm in there talking, as I'm in there talking, two brothers said, "Well, you know, you can't talk like that." You all do realize we's free now, right? right we do right. realize this is this is Dub Deuce Deuce 2022, right? Uh, 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 you know, it's time for us to to to. Uh, we're not gonna reinvent the wheel. That's part of the problem we make, right? But we got to we got to build on the foundation. We got to find this mutual respect in the connectivity for the multiple 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 generations that are. Engaged in this fight now, right? We got to give up the reins. Uh, they, they, what's the phrase? Uh, 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 pass the baton. Hell, sometimes they don't pass it, so you got to take it. The message is the urgency of now. Uh, give these youngsters the the wisdom and protection and the resources that they need. Mm -hmm. Us that are in these positions, make sure that we have our pulse, we have our finger on the pulse of the community. Right. Uh, and we sit at the table and at the feet of the elders. Marie, uh, 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 Ms. Boynton, who passed uh, 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 a couple of years ago, uh, Miss Boynton uh, was one of the instrumental figures in the in the uh, uh, Selma march. Right. Uh, we had her and honored her years uh, honored her years ago here, and I made the mistake of saying we're standing on their shoulders. You know what she told me? Right. Well, what she told the crowd and used me as the example. She said, "I'm so sick of hearing young people." Got to be able to take a certain criticism. I'm so sick of hearing young people talking about you're standing on my shoulders. Verbatim. Rest in power, rest in power, Miss Boynton. You're not standing on my shoulders. Don't just stand on them. Get off and do something. Do something. We talk about prayers going up and energy going out, but there's an old African proverb. Prayers got many feet. Right. So after you send out the energy, don't just sit there hoping it's going to fall from the sky. Connect with folks that's about that action and get out there and do something. We got to do that. Man. If you're standing on your shoulders, you can't do anything by standing. Get up and do something. <laughs>